Attorney General Jeff Sessions has sent a memo to federal prosecutors calling for the toughest charges possible to be filed against most suspects taken into custody. Sessions says harsher penalties are needed to curb the rising murder rate and opioid epidemic. Here's Justice Reporter Paula Reed. I have empowered our prosecutors to charge and pursue the most serious offense, as I believe the law requires. This week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions ordered federal prosecutors to charge defendants with a crime that carries the highest possible sentence. If they can likely prove it, now they must charge it. It means that we're going to meet our responsibility to enforce the law with judgment and fairness. This reverses previous policies put in place by Attorney General Eric Holder. His smart on crime policy aimed to reduce the number of people charged with offenses that carry stiff mandatory minimum sentences. On Friday, Holder released a statement criticizing Sessions new policy as dumb on crime. But Sessions defends his policy as a necessary tool to combat an uptick in crime. We are seeing an increase in violent crime in our cities, particularly in Baltimore, Chicago, Memphis and Milwaukee. St. Louis and many others. It takes us back to the bad old days of the 1980s when the politically popular thing to do was to say, let's get tough on crime, tough on drugs. Mark Maurer is the executive director of the Sentencing Project. We know that putting more people in prison is not the most effective way to deal with crime problems. This approach is also criticized for having an adverse impact on minorities. The entire drug war from start to finish has been disproportionately affecting low-income people of color. But the attorney general believes he is giving prosecutors discretion they need to gain leverage over criminals. They deserve to be unhandcuffed and not micromanaged from Washington. Rena, the most immediate impact of this policy will be more people behind bars. The federal prison population has declined over the past several years, but with Attorney General Sessions' more aggressive enforcement of immigration laws and changes to sentencing policy, that trend is expected to be reversed. Paula Reed in Washington, thank you.